Okay, now I've assembled all the bed clips. I've got them in there. I've tapped out the holes so that I can actually adjust them somewhat reasonably well. I've once again, oh, there it is, put something down and forgot where I put it. I still haven't figured out how to fix the settings on this video, and I don't care to right now. I mean, color is not necessary for this part of the video. So I have these, and now I just need to swing it around so that the clips are touching the bed. So, these two towers I'm still activating the switch. This one I'm not, so I need to I need to back off a bit. Tighten, tighten the clips back onto the base. So these, this is what I'm screwing in right now is not the not the clip tightening screw, but the base tightening screw to secure it to the bottom of the printer. And I'm gonna do that on these other two as well. Make sure we're sitting down solidly on the base. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this same index card and I'm just going to cut a really thin strip. As we talked about calibrating the bed switches so that they all activate at the same throw. And this is really the most important of all this. But the clips aren't there just to look pretty. So if you don't do the calibration, then why did you even do this mod? Which Maybe that's a bit harsh, but whatever. Uh, let's see the camera angle here. So you're going to want to calibrate one clip at a time and go around at least twice. I'm going to take this, and I can't, maybe I'll move this a bit closer. Take this index card strip, and I'm going to try to shimmy it in between the the binder clip and the metal bed. That's so let's see if I loosen up this tension screw maybe I'll do a better job. It's a bit harder to get the strip under here between a five inch mirror and a uh, and what's left of the metal. But if you've if you've got the uh, 120 millimeter barosilate glass, then it might be a bit easier. I'm going to cut this a bit thinner because I I don't want I don't want to accidentally demonstrate something incorrectly. So all right, there's an even thinner. Okay, so there we go. I've you know, placed that down there. Now, I'm going to, this is actually where having color would actually help, but, but since I don't have USB plugged in, you can tell the same thing by seeing if this light's on or off, because when the light turns on, that means the bed switch is activated, and so, I'm going to screw slowly screw this down. Well, actually, I'm just going to screw it quite quickly. Oh, look, the light came on. I don't, you probably can't even see that. This, this camera mode's weird, but the light came on. If I put this down on the bed here, it, it's, not, it's not pushing down because the bed switch is already depressed. So what I need to do now is I need to back off. I need to back off. Let's make sure that the binder clip is getting every bit of that index card. Now I want to 
screw down again. All right, now that I've got it just barely activated, I want to swap and make sure I'm using the torque end of this Allen wrench. And now I want to just back off quietly till that light just barely comes off. And if you want to walk around here for the next one, Doc, just to see what I'm talking about, you can. Oh, I can see the light shining underneath it. Oh, yeah, because I got the base off the bottom, so. But you want the light to go off just barely. Okay. And now if I just barely tap it, you can see the light flash on, but. Alright, that's, that's a bit too much, because you really, you want it right there at that edge of being turned off when you don't touch it, but activating when you tap it, while only one of the bed clips is shimmed with an index card. Okay. So that one's good. So I'm going to remove it. I'm going to go on to the next one. seems to be pretty good, but I just, this is so important because the goal here is to make it to where your G29 readings are not complete and total bull crap. And I say that's probably all right now. Switch around and do it from this. Once again, once you get to the tweaky level, that's when you want to worry about more about applying too much downward force and using the torque in. But now that I'm there, all right. pretty good. Now I'm going to go back around and do all three of them again just to double check because nothing's easy with a delta printer and everything's going to affect everything whenever you change something. And by the way, this is Another routine maintenance thing you might have to do every so often. And you want to do it with whatever your current bed setup is. So if you're printing at a certain temperature, do that. If you change the bed surface, redo it because this is a, you can tell, a very tiny, tweaky adjustment. And tiny, tweaky adjustment, any small thing you change will have an impact. I'm having to push more than I'd like to get it to activate on that one. Let's double check that the, the binder bed clip has every bit of that index card. Yeah, that's good. So that's a lot better than I was getting before because I didn't have all of the index card underneath the binder clip. So that's important. All right, so I had to tighten it slightly there. All right, that's just a and all right, I'm going to say that's pretty. So now, if I wanted to, I've got a consistent bed surface. I've Cleaned the belts, I've weaved the parts, I've, I've um, installed the binder clips and adjusted them. I could run the in-stop calibration now. And